Testing, this is a test. All right, I wanna get this in one shot. Today we're going to make some latte art using my proprietary method. What do I do that's different? First of all, milk. As fat a milk as you can find. Vitamin D heated to a temperature of exactly 143 degrees. No more, no less. So what I do is I take my perfectly heated milk, transfer it into a small pitcher. This allows enhanced precision. Now come in close. Watch, watch my wrist. It's all in the wrist. Latte art is all about wrist movement. Gently frothing, gently back and forth, back and forth, laying the foundation for what is to come. Next, chocolate syrup. Not just any chocolate syrup, chocolate syrup that has been carefully heated to a precise temperature of 113.5 degrees. Now what I do is we take our thermometer, dip it into the chocolate syrup, swirl it, or can you see that? Mm -hmm. And I go to work. Now come in tight, I want you to get this. Of course I studied latte art over in Italy for a period of about seven years. Uh, I was an apprentice under the late great Guido Valducci in Venice. Master Valducci has a couple of pieces on permanent display in the Louvre in the uh, refrigerated section. But uh, bear in mind that Rome wasn't built in a day. It took me a while to perfect this. Now come in, uh, come in tight. Here, uh, move around to the other side. Okay, now when you swing around, I want you to zoom in tight. Come in tight here so we can see the fine detail. As for beans, I generally roast my own, and I like to actually roast each bean individually. Notice how the perfectly heated espresso, milk, and syrup combine to form such a wonderful shading here and such a natural skin tone. There you have it. I chose to do a Da Vinci. You may start with something simpler. I don't recommend that beginners start the Da Vinci. Have fun, uh, maybe a Jackson Pollock or something impressionist like a Monet. Let the foam be your canvas and go make some latte art.